One. Two. My bad. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> You're supposed to. Some blessings, you punk bitches. My name is Yul, and this is Man Face Television. I'm coming at you with my first place. Well, not really first place. I went undefeated uh, with my Five Nights at Freddy's deck, uh, Fluffles, Fry Furs. If y'all seen me on uh, Top Deck Scrubs, and y'all seen my face before, ugly as hell, and I ain't getting no better. Uh, before we get into this deck prof profile, like I said with them, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know what y'all want to see on this channel. I actually do read the comments if y'all want to see either live duels or something like that. Please uh, let them know in the comments. Uh, but let's get into this deck profile because my boy behind the camera is hungry as hell and we need to get him the fuck out of here. So, let's go to work. Alright, so this is 48 cards. This is probably going to change really, really soon. Only because um, it was funny as hell to run at first and then you know I came across a couple of bricks that I was like, I regret this. So, um, I'll try and go over uh, as much of this as, as I possibly can. So, Three dog, this is just Stratos to search through the deck when it's normal summon from hand or special summon from hand. Uh, you search for a uh, Fluffle or Edge of Savers. This is one of the oldest cards when it, uh, since it first came out. Um, I need to switch some of these up. And then I'm just gonna go with the Toy Vendor package really quickly. Uh, two Wings, uh, two Dolphin, and two Bear. So this search, this is what, uh, you send this from, uh, uh, from Hand of Graveyard to set Toy Vendor. Uh, the Toy Vendor is the continuous spell card. This is also a part of the uh, Toy Vendor package. Uh, you banish this card from your graveyard while you have Toy Vendor face up on field. Uh, and another Fluffle to draw one, and then you send Toy Vendor to draw another. And Toy Vendor, whenever it hits graveyard, uh, gets you a search of a Fluffle Monster or Edge and Sabres. And then this is one of the newer ones that came out. Uh, this was, uh, what was this? Was this, uh, oh yeah. I don't even remember what set this came out of again. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Dolphin, uh, you target Toy Vendor in Graveyard, you say it, and then you can send a uh, Fluffle Monster or an uh, Edge and Sabers from back to your Graveyard. And this Graveyard manipulation is actually really, really good for when you're trying to set up for either your Wings combo or uh, if you're going for a Fright for Fusion combo, which, you know, Fright for Fusion is kind of your, o it's kind of your OTK when done right. So, and uh, for the record, uh, the Toy Vendor engine can actually kind of be can kind of be used uh, in separate decks just because it's a great draw engine and just decent reoccurrence. Uh, two Penguin. Penguin is kind of your Goblin Bird of the deck. Uh, whenever it's on field, you can special summon uh, a fluffle monster from your hand, and then when it's used as fusion material, uh, you can draw two. Uh, if it's used as fusion material for a fight for fusion monster, you draw two, discard one. So that comes handy. Something I forgot. Something I forgot about dolphin. Uh, where the fuck they go? Uh, dolphin. When this is used as fusion material, uh, you can shuffle a banished polymerization or fusion spell card from uh, uh, back into your deck. So that this also helps you chain block. You can chain block with this, but you want to get this effect off uh, with dolphin, uh, dolphin or penguin as much as possible. Uh, the, my one ofs of uh, my fluffles, owl, cat, octopus, and sheep. Um, this has always been a one of. This searches polymerization when it's summoned from hand, and then uh, you can pay five hundred to. to um, to so fusion summon using monsters uh, in your hand or on, on field, uh, but you only get one effect once per turn, once that turn only. Um, when this card is used as fusion material, sent to the graveyard, you target a polymerization in your graveyard, add it back to hand. This is great chain blocking. And then I set these off to the side for a reason. Um, Octo and Sheep. Sheep, if you control a if you control a fluffle monster, you can special summon this card from hand. Uh, you can do this as many times as you want to, as many as many uh, with as many sheep as you have, but I only run one, that's all, that's all I needed. But the main effect that I want to go for is um, when you target a Fluffle uh, on the field, return it to hand, and then you can special summon an edge from grave or hand. And this is this is, this is is stones, especially when you mix it with this. Octo is kind of your, um, is your uh, recycle, so you target a Fluffle in your graveyard, add it back to hand, and then, so if this was engraved and you want it back, you want to keep going, Normal special summon this, uh, add this back from graveyard, special summon, bounce this, and then get out an edge monster. You can keep, you know, just if you do it with chain, which we'll get to in a minute, then you know, you'll have free resources at all times. Uh, this is where people get a little anybody that else, anybody else that plays Fluffle. Um, I've seen people play one, I've seen people play two. I love this card way too much. Uh, this is edge of sight. This is a three of you basically on your opponent's turn during their main phase, you get to fuse some using monsters on hand or field. Um, 
I like playing on my opponent's turn, and this allows me to do that. Uh, you do this with either Penguin, and you can search this for next. You get the draw, and then if you discard the next card I'm about to show you, then you get another search, which is Edge and Chain. I run three of this. Most of y'all know this card. If y'all play Branded, if y'all have ever played Branded, then y'all y'all already know this card with um, the other spell card that I will show momentarily. Um, but uh, if this card attacks, you search another copy of itself, and if this card is sent to Grave, uh, you get to add a Fright for card from deck to hand, and you only get one effect once per turn. That's the only downside of this. Uh, and then the, the OG Edgem, uh, Edgem Sabres, uh, not really much of an effect uh, to worry about, but he does he does end up helping uh, if you're trying to manipulate Toy Vendor as much as possible. Um, but you can put a card back at the top of your deck to special summon this card from your graveyard, and you can only do it once, unfortunately. Um, here come the Spice. I like to get as much use out of everything as possible. I need a spot removal at the time when I decided to put this card in the deck. Uh, my biggest issue at the time was Sword Soul. And I didn't want to have to deal with what uh, this uh, level 10 Sovereign, whatever his name is, that can't be destroyed. He can just save himself by banishing. But uh, Eldritch, MVP of this deck. This is, this is I'm not going to say my closer, but this kind of keeps everything going. And he's kind of the... He's, Jesus, this card is is, is goaded. So most of y'all know what he does, but when I use him with uh, any of my spell cards, from toy vendor to uh, even polymerization or anything like that, uh, cleans house, uh, uh, send toy vendor from uh, from from field to grave to add Elvis back, and I can special summon him if I want to. Have a big ass 35 feet stick, and then still get my toy vendor search. And then uh, hand trap, uh, two ash blossom. Self-explanatory. <laughs> and then spells. Uh, card I was talking about constantly. Toy Vendor. Um, so th the graveyard effect is whenever this hits graveyard, you can add a Fluffle Monster or Edge of Sabers uh, from your deck to your hand. But uh, the, the main field effect is you can discard one card uh, and then draw one, reveal it. If it was a Fluffle Monster, you can special summon one monster from your hand. That is massive. Especially if you end up having... It doesn't have to be a Fluffle. It doesn't have to be an Edge. You can... Uh, I, done i've special summoned the biru from hand off of this effect after drawing a fluffle and it was the goofiest thing the look on their faces is classic um but yeah this is your main advantage this is plus one plus two plus three when you do this with wings um y'all know patchwork because of branded um it hasn't been hit let's hope it stays that way uh one fresh perfusion i had this at two at one point uh i cut it to one uh just because i was like all i need to do is just see it once and time it right and i've got it uh and then three poly uh because i run patchwork and this is a majority fusion deck the card that i ran at three at one point but cut one uh full of real of goods this sends toy vendor it sends uh uh fright for repair which is actually this card next right here fright for repair uh this this card is this card is a decent extender uh the main effect is the main effect that i actually even care about is the graveyard effect you can banish this to special summon uh, one fluffle or edge monster uh, from your hand uh, but the other effect is it is an indirect reborn monster effect so uh, you can target a fluffle fusion monster in your graveyard uh, shuffle it back to the graveyard and then you special summon a edge or fluffle monster from your graveyard that comes in handy I've done both effects multiple times but uh, you know whenever whenever I had whenever I've had to draw this and I've actually made it work to my advantage and then uh, last spell call by self-explanatory and here comes the rest of the fun so fright for jar this card is treated as toy vendor when it's face up on the field or in the graveyard so you can bring it back you can bring this back with dolphin uh but uh it's basically this is opposite uh toy vendor you draw one uh you discard one card draw reveal it if it was an agent monster you destroy one card in your opponent's side of the field i've done this before this is so luck based it's not funny and i considered cutting it but then i realized this is fodder for one of my fusion monsters which i will get into um and then when this card is hit with this card hits graveyard you can target a monster on the field have its attack until the end of the turn so uh can be done during damage step and then i have a personal love for this card um d barrier i main this card and uh i played this uh since it first came out since i've been playing i played black wings up till about from when i came back in the game all the way up to about i'll say 2000 what was it 2016 2017 when they when they had links and then i stopped playing it uh but i still have a i still have a love for this card this 
This card is amazing. I know there's better options, but I will never let this card go. And then other hand trap, uh, infinite impermanent, spell, self self explanatory, and then trap trick. This is the card. This is one of the cards that I'm actually thinking about taking out, and then I might take out another one of the D, D barriers. Um, you banish a you banish a trap card, and then you set one with the same name. Um, I have this for D barrier, but also one of the other cards that's also in my side deck, which I will get to. For extra deck token guardian chimera uh this cost of stones uh you can you can chain block with this shit it's ridiculous uh i can use all my fluffles to get some of their effects um so uh you have to use monsters from hand and field uh the amount of monsters that you use in hand you draw that many with the amount of monsters that you use on field you destroy that many cards on the field, on your opponent's side so go to you <laughs> Uh, three cruel well. I've seen people run two. I love this card way too much. This is one of my go-to cards, uh, especially with Cash liking to uh, banish my extra deck. Shout out to the dude that I took an L against, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, on Fusion Summon, destroys one, it's a untarg it's a non-targeting uh, Scrap Dragon, so destroy one card on both players' sides of the field. And then also during damage step, um, I'm sorry, during the battle phase or at any point, this can be done during the damage step. You can target one Fluffle Fusion Monster, uh, I'm sorry, Fright for Fusion Monster, um, send a Fright for card from extra deck or deck to the graveyard it, it will gain half of the targeted monster's original attack so if he targets himself he'll go up by 13 hence why i sent uh hence why you either send you can send patchwork why would you uh you can send repair or you can send a uh, fright for jar which you know also can damage that boost yours reduce theirs and crash it's not bad uh I'll, I'll do a whole davy jones locker package add the kraken um can attack twice um uh, at the end of the at the end of the battle phase, can switch the can change his battle position, and then uh, uh, can target one monster on the field and send it to the grave. Not not uh, spot removal, not destruction. Kind of nice. Let's go through the rest of the water monsters while I'm at it. Uh, I have room for the uh, totally awesome package, and then Abyss Dweller. This is lovely. I love it. And then back to the Fluffles or Fright for uh, two Saber Tooth. I do this because of the three Cruel Well. Uh, I want to be able to send. I want to be able to send one uh, one of these if need be. I've done it before and still have room to manipulate for the Fry for Fusion. It works. Uh, if this card is brought out um, using t uh, three more material, uh, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. And then uh, when he's fusion summoned, you can uh, target a Fry for Fusion monster grave and special summon. So come in. And then two of the most uh, two of the uh, original fusion monsters. This one is the most original. Uh, El Tigre can target up to the number of uh, fusion material used for his summon, destroy them, and then uh, he gains at each uh, Fright for monster gains 300 for each Fluffle and Fright for on the field. So this is automatic OTK potential, and you can only control one of this bitch because, bro, if you could control more than one, it'd be a long day for your opponent. They would not like you. Um, and then uh, Wolf. <laughs> Wolf can attack the amount of times as uh, up to the number of fusion monsters used for his summon. Nice. Uh, so, I will DK. I will DK to uh, three people today. <laughs> it was nice. They, they they were like, wait, he can attack how many times? Yes. Um, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce him, but um, every, I started running him ever since they got rid of Calamities. Uh, he's decent spot removal as well, non-targeting spot removal. Um, banish one from the field, banish one from your opponent's hand, banish one from the top of your opponent's deck, banish one from graveyard, comes in handy. And then dark. That's cool. Not, nothing, nothing to explain about the chargers. <laughs> and then side deck. I did two Droll, two Ghost Ogre for cash. Shout out to the motherfucker to beat my ass today. Hey, let's go. <laughs> uh, Dogwood, used against, use this against the guy who beat my ass today. Shout hey, out to him. Go. Challenge. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gamma Seal, didn't use this at all today. Um, man. Uh, Nibiru, uh, I gave dude that beat my ass today the biggest token, and I regret everything about my life afterwards. <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> uh dark ruler uh duster and then eradicator um i use this against sky striker he did not like me but yeah that's the depth profile was it, was it a complete blow up with the oh yeah um he had to force everything out of his hand and um 
but by the time he got to his next turn, it was too late. He he had he only had uh, when I looked in his hand afterwards, he had uh, he had an ash and he had a ray. Couldn't do anything. It was oh. the funniest shit. Game uh, over. Yeah, <laughs> game set and mash, and I'm just like, huh. So yeah, but anyway, that's the deck profile. Shout out to main phase. Shout out to the motherfucker who uh, waxed my ass today. Uh, uh, quit ducking me because I'm coming back for your ass anyway. That's it. Peace and blessings, you punk bitches. I'm out. Deuce.